Maka's guides. <laughs> hey guys, Maka here playing South Park the Fractured Butt Hole. In this video, I'll be taking you through all 40 of the Yaoi art pieces available in the game for the Boy Love Aficionado Achievement slash Trophy. To start this optional side mission, you will want to talk to Craig's dad at Craig's house. Since nothing is missable in the game, I would recommend you do this after you complete it. Also, you will need a lot of abilities and all of the buddies unlocked in order to get a lot of these anyways. As you saw in the video, the first one can be found in Butters' garage. Go inside, use the firecrackers to knock down the art from behind the poster, and then pick it up. The second one can be found in Cartman's garage, and you'll need to use the Diabetic Rage Buddy ability in order to find it behind the water heater. By the way, for the order of these, I decided to start at my house and then work my way to the right, then back from my house decided to work my way to the left, and then for Main Street I did left to right, and for the top street left to right as well. The third out of 40 of the art pieces can be found inside of Stan's house. Go upstairs into his sister's room and use the firecrackers to knock down the art from the dresser and then go pick it up. Next up for number four, we have Kyle's house. Kyle's house actually has two, but the first one is found by going inside and then going upstairs and locating his little brother Ike's room. Inside of Ike's room, you should be able to easily spot it on the wall, and you'll just be able to walk up to it and pull it down. The other collectible inside of Kyle's house is going to be in the attic, which is locked behind story progression. So go upstairs, and as long as you're far enough in the game, you'll either be able to go up the ladder or use your firecrackers to knock the ladder down. And then you'll be able to go up the ladder into the attic, and you should be able to spot the art and pick it up. Next up, we have Kenny's house. You can just go into Kenny's house, which is the left building, and go into the back rooms by going past the couch, not into the kitchen, but through the hallway, and then go into the first door, the closest one to you, to get into his sister's room, where you can take one of the drawings off the wall. Now, the next one is in Kenny's garage, but we will need a key for his garage, so go to his parents' bedroom at the end of the hall and use your firecrackers to knock down the keys. Pick them up, then go outside, and you can unlock the garage. Once you do that, you should be able to quite easily spot them on the wall. These were actually the last ones I needed for my achievement to unlock, so it unlocked right after I picked this one up, although I think I cut it out and I put it in the end of the video instead. Next, we are in Soto Sopa for number 8 out of 40. This area is unlocked. It's one of the last areas to be unlocked in the game, actually, as you progress through the story. But once you unlock it, it's pretty easy. Just walk up to the tent and pick it up. So now we worked our way back to our own house. And instead of going to the right, we're now working our way down the street to the left, starting at Jimmy's house. And Jimmy's house does require the buddy system. We will need to use the sand blaster in order to get rid of the lava in front of his garage. Once we do that though, we can just open the garage and we can easily spot the art on the very top ledge there. Just use your firecrackers to knock it down and then pick it up. Next, we are at Henrietta's house, the next house over. Go inside the front door, go upstairs to the last room in the hall, not the washroom though, and that is gonna be the master bedroom inside of that. We can use the firecrackers to knock down the art from the top ledge near the left of the room. Once it's knocked over, just walk over and pick it up. Next, we have a piece of art in Clyde's garage, but it does require a key, and that key can be found inside of Raisins. Go inside of Raisins and walk all the way to the back to find the backpack near this table, and inside you should find... Clyde's garage key then you can go to Clyde's house and simply open the garage which would have been locked prior walk inside and spot the art directly on your left as you enter now the next house over is Kevin Stoley's house the alien house this one requires us to use haywire which I believe is the last buddy ability to be unlocked Use the firecrackers to knock down the panel. Use haywire to use the hamster slash gerbil to 
get the electricity unit to open the garage for you once you do that you can open the garage go inside climb the first ladder climb the second ladder to the rooftop once on the rooftop go across and onto the balcony and through the window Once inside the window, go through the room, down the stairs, into the front area, and knock down the art from next to the front door and pick it up. You'll also want to unlock the door from the inside so you can go into the house later on in the game if you need to. Now, the next house over also has a yaoi piece of art. Go inside of Bebe's house, go upstairs and into her room where she should be hanging out with one of her friends. And you should spot the piece of art on the far top right corner of the room. You'll need to use some firecrackers to knock it down so you'll be able to walk over and pick it up. Now we are at number 14 out of 30, about a third of the way done. We've crossed the street to the community center. We went inside and into the men's washroom. Once inside there, we will need to use the Time Fart Pause ability in order to get over the electricity in the water and turn off the switch. Once we turn off the switch and let the timer run out, we'll be able to open up the stall. Now I have made a separate guide for all of the toilets in the game, which I will link, but you're, we're interested in art here and there's one hanging above, right above the toilet there. Knock it down and pick it up. The building next to the community center is the elementary school. Go inside, go forward, and then kind of deep into the school. Go into the gym, and then work your way to the far end of the gym and head up the third staircase. At the top of the staircase, go to the right, and you should be able to take the poster straight off of the wall. Now we are back outside of the elementary school just to make sure we don't get lost. Go inside to the foyer and we'll have to use the buddy ability for fart core on the little pinwheel there. So once you find the match, investigate it, analyze it, call in your human kite buddy. He'll fart core you up all the way to the top there and you'll be able to pick the art off the wall on the left of the balcony. Now just past the elementary school we have Stark's Pond with a bit of a looping path around the lake. As we make our way around the bend and then make our way to Stark's Pond North, we'll see a tree with a small carving in it and there's a piece of art inside there we'll be able to grab. After grabbing it, you'll probably want to continue along the path in order to unlock all the fast travel points along the route and you'll end up at the church. Now, once you're there, go inside and you'll have to access the left hand side room. Now you can find the passcode to this room in the right hand side room, or I believe you can just know it and it'll allow you to just go straight in the room. In this case, I believe the code is 681, kneel before Jesus. Once inside, you should notice the art just in front of you. Next to that building, we have the Park County Police Station. Go inside and go through the gate. Now, if you're at a certain part of the story, you won't be allowed to go through the gate. So just continue through the story. You'll unlock some stuff and you'll be able to get access back into the police station. Go into the break room and here I'm inspecting a little bit. It was my first time here, but on the right hand side wall, you'll notice there is a piece of art. It's actually quite difficult to see but you'll be able to pick it up quite easily if you stand right next to it. At the halfway point now, 20 out of 40, we're in front of City Hall, and in front of City Hall, there's a small community board. You can post Adam's headshot here if you're looking to do that. I have a separate video as well for the other eight locations, but on this board, there is also a Yaoi art piece. Now, we can also find one inside of City Hall, Go inside, go to the left, use your firecrackers to knock it down. Once it falls on the ground, you can just walk up to it and pick it up in order to have 21 of 40. 
Next, we're basically in the core of Main Street, starting off with the South Park Gazette right after Planned Parenthood. Go inside, and at the very back, you'll be able to find your art on a cabinet. Just pick it up. A little bit further down the street, just beside the D-Mobile, we have the Main Street offices. Go inside of this building, and you'll notice there's some doors in the back. They're actually a little bit hidden, in my opinion. I didn't see this room until pretty late in the game. Go upstairs, and behind the staircase, you'll find the art you'll need here. Then, next door, we have Tom's Rhinoplasty. So, go into this store... So go inside, make your way through the room and into the back room. Once inside of the back room, next to his diploma or degree, you should notice the art. Use your firecrackers to knock it down and then pick it up. The building next to Tom's is the Bank of South Park. We will need the Sand Blaster Buddy Perk here or Buddy Ability. So use that to clear the lava and scare away one of the chaos minions. And then we will have access to just walk straight into the bank. Once we're inside the bank, this one's really easy. Right next to the door on the water cooler, pick it up. The next door over should be the thrift shop known as Sloppy Seconds. Walk inside and just as you walk inside... Just behind the cash register, a little bit to the right of it, at eye level, you can walk up and pick up your next art piece. Then, next door to that is Freeman's Tacos. So, go into Freeman's Tacos. Work your way through the restaurant all the way to the right-hand side where you'll notice the washroom. Go inside of the washrooms, and then you'll be able to see the art piece right next to the stall on the wall at eye level. Last but not least, in this main section of Main Street, we have the Photo Dojo. Go inside of the Photo Dojo, and this one should be pretty obvious to you. Right next to the door, use your inspection mode, your firecrackers, knock it down, and pick it up. Now, if you go across the street from the Photo Dojo and continue along the path and don't go up, you'll end up going through the trees and then working your way into the playground. Now, the playground has the park restrooms, and there's three restrooms. We're going to start off by going into the boys' restroom, where we can easily spot one art piece. Then from there, we're going to back up, and to get number 30 out of 40, we'll actually go into the girls' washroom. So skip the washroom for sissies, go to the girls' washroom at the back wall at eye level, pick the 30th out of 40 up. We're almost there. Just past the playground, we have Big Al's house, and this one won't show up on the screen because I guess I had a problem with my capture card or I lost the footage, but you'll walk inside, go to the back, and right next to their washroom, it'll be sitting right here on the wall where I'm throwing my firecrackers. You'll use those firecrackers to knock it down, and then you'll be able to pick it up. That's 31. Next door to Big Al's lives Nicole. So for Nicole, we will need to use the firecrackers to knock down the panel, and then we'll need to call in our buddy to do a haywire on the garage in order to gain access into the garage. And again, the only way to get into the garage is with this buddy ability. So once Butters gets his thing done, you can go inside, open up the garage. This one should be directly in front of you as you enter. Now we're at 33 out of 40 and we're on the very top road of the map working from left to right at City Walk. Go inside of City Walk, and this one should be pretty easy. Go to the left, and uh, right on the wall at eye level, you should be able to pick this one up. Next up, we have the Peppermint Hippo. So you'll want to go inside of this club. Then you will need to go through the front door, go past the DJ, past the stage, and into the back area or backstage. From here, we should see the door directly in front of us. We'll use some firecrackers to knock down the panel. Then we can use the Haywire Buddy ability in order to get access into the back room here. Inside of the back room, there's a whole bunch of stuff, including a decently high-leveled artifact. But on the very left of the room, we should be able to spot that art that we're looking for. 34 out of 40.
Now, this next one is a little bit tricky. It's located at Raisins. You'll want to go inside, and you might have looked around a whole bunch and not really realized where to look, but there is one inside of here, and it's behind the counter. You'll need to squeeze your way behind the counter, open the door, and you'll get this screen, and work your way all the way to the right behind the counter. You should be able to spot it pretty easily once you're there, and you'll pick it up. A couple buildings later, as we work our way through that top row, we'll end up at the South Park Senior Center. Go inside to the very end of the room, up on the wall on the top right, use your firecrackers to knock down the art, and then pick it up. Just past the Senior Center is Token's House. Token's House will be locked until you make a decent amount of progress through the story and through some of the side quests, so keep that in mind. But once you're done that, you'll actually need to go back to his house, and this is not something you could have picked up while you were here for the story. You'll go inside, go past everything, and then go upstairs and into the last room of his house, which is a bit of like a gym room or a workout room. And in this room, you would have probably like ended that mission we were talking about earlier, but on the very left, at eye level, pick up the art. Now for 38 out of 40, we're at the Bijou Theater. This one will require you to use Fart Core in order to get access to, and it also leads to the next one, which requires that as well. But once inside, you'll make your way kind of into that second hallway, use the pinwheel in order to call in your human kite buddy, and he will fly you over to the ledge on the right-hand side near where some of the hang hanging speakers are. You can also use your firecrackers on the speakers in order to get some shards that you can pick up, but you'll also find that art piece. From this art piece, there is a ladder directly behind us, which we'll want to climb in order to get to the rooftop of the Bijou Theater. And from the rooftop of the Bijou Theater, we can use the fart core to get to the rooftop of Tweak Bros Coffee, which is next door. And once we're next door, we can climb down the roof hatch in order to get to the back room. And this is how you can access the one inside of Tweak Bros Coffee. From here, you can also use your buddy ability and use Diabetic Rage to knock over the pillar inside of the back room to get access to leave Tweak Bros Coffee. Last but not least, number 40 of 40 in Tweak Bros Coffee, go through the front door and this one's going to be directly in front of you as you enter. Use your firecracker to knock it down and then pick it up and bam, you should grab your achievement or trophy right here. But that's not quite everything. Once you're done, you'll also want to go back to Craig's house and talk to Craig's dad. He'll reward you with some experience as well as a Yaoi poster of your own. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Drop a like. South Park videos don't monetize very well on YouTube. And I try to make videos pretty often, so your support is truly appreciated, especially those on Patreon who are supporting the show directly. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.